Tesla made triple capacity with breakthrough cathode chemistry. February 13, 2022. As Tesla with its Model Y and Model 3 grows in popularity around the world. Along with many other EV brands. Scientists see great potential in lithium sulfur batteries as a greener source of power. Which can by the way triple current capacities. The main reason is that these batteries don't depend on the same kind of expensive and hard to source raw materials. Such as cobalt. Up until now other stability issues have held and hindered the technology. Right until this breakthrough was announced on Communications Chemistry Journal last February 10. Engineers at Drexel University have made a breakthrough they say brings these batteries closer to commercial use. By harnessing a rare chemical phase of sulfur to prevent harmful chemical reactions. Lithium sulfur batteries hold great promise when it comes to energy storage. And not just because sulfur is abundant and less problematics to obtain than cobalt, manganese, and nickel used in today's batteries. Additionally, they can offer a significant performance boost, with the potential to store several times the energy of current lithium-ion batteries. Will this new battery technology be a threat or a reliable ally for Tesla and its Model Y and Model 3? As far as we know, the 4680 cell aims to revolutionize lithium-ion batteries used in electric vehicles. It is 46 mm wide and 80 mm long and will increase energy density by 5 times. Increase range by 16%. And improve power output by 6 times. The cell has been in development since 2020. Kept behind the doors of the Cato Road facility. Drew Baglino, SVP of powertrain for Tesla, said that 4680 cells are not a constraint to our 2022 volume plans. He added that he expects the first vehicles equipping the 4680 cells to be delivered by the end of Q1 2022. Source reposted and summarized from Nicholas Caballero at Talk News. My take I am 100% open to any new battery tech that helps the EV adoption happen quicker. There are so many now. Not sure which one will be the new standard.